Hello, guten Tag, and as always, sunny greetings right here from Fort Lauderdale. Today, we want to get in a little bit into Facebook and the Facebook changes. You may have seen there are some stuff around, and uh, I see a lot of people asking questions they cannot share any longer or they cannot schedule posts. So that's where I want to go in today and shine a little bit light what is going on. Because as we know, Facebook is always changing and there are little changes and there are big changes. So if you are here with me, let me know. I thank you for your time today. If you have any question, put them down below and we will answer any question that may come up or that you may have. So um, when you are watching this in the replay, put down hashtag replay and the city you are watching from and then tap me so that I can see your question. So for today, I will go in a little bit into the back end of Facebook. So you will see my back end and uh, you will see and could follow along what you should look for and what you can do with some of the goodies Facebook have given us. Maybe you saw them, maybe you didn't saw them yet. So let me share my screen here a little bit with me <clears throat> and here we are so if i am a little bit delayed i am loading right now something down and i hope it would have stopped by now so uh, it takes maybe a little time so for today we want to go into facebook and you see my back end but i want to focus on your Facebook business page. So we do have our Facebook profile, which is our personal page, but I want to focus on your Facebook business page, your Facebook page. So there are different words around it, but this is the page you should use and you are using it's nothing else than a website within facebook so where people can follow you along like your page and then see your feed so if you should have right now the same layout uh, as I am. So uh, different layouts are floating still around. But to get to my business page, I click the little flag up here. And now all my business pages are coming up and I will choose the one where we are uh, going in a little bit deeper. So here I will go into my business page. So that's where you choose your business page. And here we are. The biggest thing what comes right now up, Facebook will get rid of your like button. So people are no longer um, able to like your business page, but follow you along and this is very very important especially when your page is one of the pages who is already converted to no longer have the like you should go up here into your edit button so you can edit this and what i am recommending is that you change your button to follow you want people to follow you, meaning they are subscribed to your page, meaning they hopefully see your uh, page view and all your postings, especially when the like button goes away and that's where you are paying big attention to it. When you see here, we have 439 people like this page and 562 people follow this page. When the like button goes away, those 439 people no longer will be counted and only you will see your follow pages. Why is this important? When you like a page, you are able to unfollow that page and no longer see 
that page's feed. That means when the changes are coming, now those people who unfollowed you, they are no longer counted because they will not see your feed any longer. So you want to make sure that you focus on that people are following you because now they are subscribed to your page and they see your postings on your business page. So to go around it, like I said, you could do usually what I have up here, it's maybe email or I use messenger bot so you can message me. But right now, because of the changes, we changed our button to follow so that people are following us, meaning they are subscribed to my page and they should see the postings I am posting out there. So that is important, especially for your business page. Then you want to make sure that people are seeing your post. So that is one of the biggest changes coming up. So make sure that you are putting yourself into a position where people follow you and subscribe to your page instead just liking your page. And then they will fall out those people who are unfollow you, they will no longer count and they will no longer see your postings on your business page. And that means your engagement will go down and Facebook likes engagement and you want to counter this uh, with that people started to follow you and subscribe. So then we are able, back here, we was able to share our post and then had different option available if I can share as myself, as my page or whatever. So right now I only share as my, as my page and only have those options available, share to my group or share to a page. I no longer are able, yes, I am able, but I have to make some changes. But before I could check, uh, uh, share as a page I own or share as my personal profile. For that now, Facebook made a small changes again before we had a little sign up here where we had all our faces, all the pages we are owning and you easily could share. What we need to do now, and you should check with your page, up here you see those are all the availability, how I can interact and how I can share a post. So right now I am up interacting a netty block with my background in dark. That means for me, I know this is my business page. The gray is my personal page. So if I want to share something as me, from my personal page, I now need to check that. And here I am. I am going right into the view, how Facebook viewers or my followers would see my page. And from there now I am able to share this and also have much, much more options available. So if I want to share it to my feed, if I want to share it in Messenger to my group, Facebook page. So now I have different options available. So that is a small change what Facebook did before we had this option right next to our share button. Now you have to go in and make the changes up in your profile bar. So uh, I'm not sure if you are converted. So uh, Facebook has thousands of platforms depending on the platform we are in. I'm every day on a different platform. So, but my profile stays the same. So, and they are changing randomly. So we don't know when they do changes. So take a look where your where your share button is, if you still have the little sign around your share button, or if you have to go up into your profile bar and make the changes up there. So right now you see, I am right here on my page as viewers would see 
my page and have to share it from there before I was able to share directly from my feed from the background. So now let's go a little bit into the sidebar and the options now Facebook is giving you. Now Facebook also made available that your Facebook business pages are able to like other pages and put those pages now into your Facebook business page feed. Now, all the pages you liked as your business page, you are now able to see in here and follow those along, depending what you are interesting or if you are I did it for, uh, if you liked it, or for educational purposes. Now, those feeds you like now in your Facebook business page, they are no longer in your personal page, but they are in your business page. If you want not where your page likes are, their feed is right here in the background. Now you can see your feed right here within your Facebook business. What I would recommend when you like pages, so uh, check your feed once in a while so those posts are coming up in here. Also, and I will not go in here because for privacy, oops, reason, so, you see, I just clicked it. So let me stop the share. All right, so now you have your inbox with him. Yeah, we are back. Good. So now you have your inbox with him, your Facebook feed, where you now can go, you press inbox, and there you have everything in one view. You have your messenger in there, you have your Instagram messenger in there, you have your Facebook messenger in there, and can uh, have, have you have all the messages you receive over your business page right here on your site and easy for you to check out. So I will not go in there for a security reason and for privacy reasons. So I didn't ask the people if I can show. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it. Also now we have our lead sender in here. When you are generating leads right now, your leads not only going into the uh, spreadsheet wherever you send them, but now Facebook gives you the ability to have a small CRM within Facebook where they are putting all your leads into. Keep in mind, you need to activate the lead sender and those leads are in there for only 90 days. So make sure that you download your leads, but it gives you a quick overview where your leads are, what, when the leads are coming in. And now you can go in there. We are having them also in a separate sheet and in our separate uh, CRM. But if you don't have anything, now you are able to have them in here. And you will see them right away, especially when you are on your way, a lead come in. They are stored in here and you will see all the information from that lead in here. So you can set a reminder, you can schedule a reminder, you could put some notes in it. So, and you see everything easy in one overview. So I would recommend you check that out as especially when you don't have your own CRM or you work on a spreadsheet. Now Facebook gives you the ability, but keep in mind after 90 days, they will be erased. And I show you where you can find them and download them as well to your spreadsheet so that you have the data from all your leads. We have our events in here, but where I want to go is into our Creator Studio. Creator Studio is the new tool within Facebook 
where you now can do everything with one with one platform. You can post on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, but also now this is the tool if you want to schedule out posts, that is the tool you are using where you are now able to schedule your posts so that you are now no longer can schedule them from the front. You have to go into Creator Studio and then post and create your post in there. So at the same time, that is uh, as well new, you can post at one time to Facebook and Instagram. So you can separate them now. You see them right now in here. You see <clears throat> Creator Studio for Instagram. That is new as well. So Facebook always has surprises and uh, I have not connected my profile yet to the creator studio. I will do that when I am off, but make sure to use this. You need your uh, profile within Instagram. You need your profile to be connected with your business profile. So make it a business Instagram profile that gives you all the tools available. Here we do have our content library. Now you can go in here. You have all your posts in one overview. You can go in here. You can edit, you can view the insights of your posts, you can uh, boost, you can view, you can change the date in here. So somebody was asking me, how can I make my post backdated? That's where you go in. You now have to go into your content or into your creator studio. And now you have everything in here. You have all your published posts. You do have all your scheduled posts, very, very easy to overview. So you see, you schedule the post and what you could do on the weekend or on Monday, you take your time, schedule your post out for the whole week and you are done and only post something when it is important or when you see something nice and you want to go spontaneous. Otherwise, here is where you can schedule your posts. Before we was able to uh, uh, schedule them on the front end, we are no longer able to do it. We do have to go into our content library. So videos, videos I know, you know my intake on videos, but I also want to give you a little bit insight about the videos because when you post your video, you are able to upload your video at one time and now cross post them to other pages. What does it mean? So we could upload a video and when we are uploading our video, I have the option to cross post to different pages. So I check mark the pages that are available for me to put that one post and share it to other pages at the same time. So that saves you time. The only thing what you have to do, you have to go back to the page into videos you can cross post. And now you have to make those active on your site. So you click that and now, no, I cross posted this. Oh, that was not the nicest, but doesn't matter. So, but now you are able to cross post them to different sites. So you never, you don't have to go back to the site and upload the video there again, choose one site and share those videos from there. Uh, we will take a look into it uh, uh, and doing uh, uh, um, and I'm showing you how you can do it. Here are our playlists within Facebook. You also have playlists how you or where you can sort your videos you are doing. You can put them into playlists. So now they are sorted where, uh, where you put all the videos in into certain playlists. Make it easy for your followers to watch your videos. So because we are live and I am uploading something on top of it, it takes a little bit longer. 
Facebook also brought out Sirius. And Sirius or Syria is like a TV show. You have a Syria and now you can put different episodes onto your Syria of your video. So uh, let's go in here. Maybe let's see if that loads a little bit quicker. Let's see. <clears throat> Meaning when you put your series and your episodes into Facebook in a one series, you could do make a first time home buyer series or you could do, do a recording series. So now you can put different episodes in that series and now you are able to or your people are able to follow and to share. And I will let me go in here. Hopefully, uh, we are not too. Let me see if we can go back. No. Let me share it in here. Let me show what I mean. So that you have a good understanding. Oh, yeah. So I'm uploading since this morning something huge file. All right, come on. So here you see it. So here is my Syria and Facebook is showing those. You see a playlist. Here I have all the videos ordered. But within my series, now I can do episode as well. So you see how to build an audience. It is the main focus of that whole series. And now within that series, now I can put in episodes. So episode one, how the introduction, your segmentation, now what, what new agents should do. And this is all geared to audience building. And the best thing is now I can order this, what you cannot do with playlists, but also when I click in here, now I have my own page and I am able here to share it. And you see all the videos that come next in that series. So that is like a little TV show. No, I'm not. So this is like a little TV show within Facebook where you can add on and add on and add on, put your episodes on it. And also you have your own pages on here. So you are able to put that now into sorted and make it like a whole series, how wide you want to take it, how long you want to take it. So that is, oh, we are still running back here. All right. Don't, so where you want to, pay attention to is your insights. So Facebook gives you now all the insights, what you are doing within your posts, with your videos. So you have a good understanding what is going on here with your videos, with your posts. So that's where you want to go in to see what is working and what is not working. You have your stories as well in here, your Insta article. So the insights in here gives you a good understanding what is working and what is not working. Now let's go into our creative tools where you now have all the tools available. Uh, Facebook is giving you in certain instances, you need certain likes and you need certain uh, um, followers. So that takes long today. I don't know. So I probably it is because I'm downloading. But also here you see you have your live dashboard in here. Now, when you want to go live, you can go live in here. That gives you a good 
overview, it also gives you tools for your lives that you now can easily access if you get access, uh, if your computer doesn't slow down. So I, I don't know what is going on in here as well. So that is for your creator studio. So let's go. Let's see if we can. No, it's still not going in there. All right. No, it doesn't let me. So let's turn it off and let's go. So when you want to schedule a post, want to have a good overview of your Facebook performance, Creator Studio is a good, good way to go where you now are able to go within Facebook and get all the goodies. So let me see if I can get back in here. So then we have our insights here as well. So this gives you a good overview as well. What, what is working on your page? What is not working? Where you can put some money behind it? So this is a good overview. You also have applications for, for your phone where you now as well have like the Creator Studio on your phone and you do have your your analytics, you can download your analytics on your phone and see the same thing as you would go into your Facebook analytics on your computer. So let's go into publishing tools. And with in publishing tools, you have all the goodies in here. So when you go to publishing tools, you as well, you can schedule your post. You see Facebook is converting them into Creator Studio. That was not yet in Creator Studio, but it will come to you Creator Studio. So for now you can use both, but especially when you want to go in with your lead ad forms, that's where you find everything uh, when you get a lead and you want to have access to your form. So when for some reason you are unable or you, you uh, something disconnected with your advertising, those are the forms where you can pull them up. You go to lead ad forms, go, go to your form library, and here you can pull up the forms. So mine have, you see, all expired because they will be in here only for 90 days. So those lists will be up for 90 days and then Facebook takes them down. So make sure that you upload your own lists when you are generating leads, that you upload the information directly from Facebook and you could cross-reference within Facebook so that you have all the leads. So sometimes for some reason, Facebook doesn't tick right or even I forget to uh, connect something. That is where I always can go back and take a look uh, if I missed something or if something was broken on my end especially when leads are coming in and I don't see them in my CRM. That's where I am going. I'm going to publishing tool, going down to lead forms and to form library. And now you click download the form and now you have the options. We are own, always using a downloading as a CSV. That will be an option here which is, let's see, yeah, it is. So now we click CSV it opens up and now I am able to download the list, but it has to be within 90 days. So if you are missing leads or if you got leads and you don't know where they are, they are right in here, lead form. So that is where you get to use your publishing tools. And let's get a little bit more into, so within your publishing tools, 
I showed you what you can do, but usually I am using Creator Studios. There I can do everything from one place. I can switch back and forth between Facebook and uh, Instagram. So, and now I can share there as well. So we have our page quality. You should look if you violated something that will be up here. And here are your edit page info. That's where you now can edit your page info, especially you want to make sure that your pages has all the disclaimers, that people know exactly what you are doing. So you will see, I do not have an email or a phone number on my pages. And this is for a reason, because I want people to reach out to me. And most people are doing it over Messenger. And I do it for the reason because when people reaching out to me over Messenger, now I know exactly who they are because it shows me their Facebook profile picture. And now I know they are real people and people uh, start the conversation over Messenger. That is the reason why I don't have my phone number and my email on here so that people reach out directly to me on Messenger. And that gives me the opportunity to get to know them a little bit, check out their Facebook profile and get to know a little bit more and build a conversation and a connection with him. But yes, you are able uh, to put your phone number and email right in here. You do edit your page and that's where you are putting it on here. Oops. All right. Again, Facebook resources. I didn't want that. So because I just saw that. Okay, so edit page info. And now you should at least have your general information, the description, what you are doing. Make it easy for Facebook to categorize yourself. It helps you when people uh, search for you. So that is, we are putting in advertising and real estate. Here is my phone number, but it is not published. Uh, I don't have a phone number. I don't have a page, uh, that is my website. That's where I'm sending people to. And then I have pixeled my website so I know exactly where they are going to. If they wanna reach out to me, they have all the contact information on there. And I also know then on the background where we are. So we have no hours available. So that is the normal spill. Our privacy policy, this is for Europe especially for the German speaking uh, community because Europe has different um, rules depending on um, privacy. So especially when you are working with Europeans and a lot of Europeans coming to your website, you want to make sure that you are putting your privacy policy for them available to see so that you are compliant with the GDR uh, requirements. So that is in here because we are working with a lot of Germans. And also here now you have your own QR code for your Facebook page. You could download your QR code and when you meet people and they are asking you for your phone or for your uh, phone or your website, uh, you can give them the QR code, they connect with you right on your Facebook business page and you have them. Now you know exactly uh, who they are on Facebook and you have all their information. So here, let's go into settings, uh, especially when we are in settings. Uh, I pay attention to the page moderation and I took out certain keywords so that I don't have to watch my feed all the time if somebody is uh, uh, make bad comments. And especially when we are running advertising, that is very helpful where we are blocking out comments 
who use certain words. So here we have rip, rid of bandit, PayPal, cheaper, sweet shop, factory, knockoff, um, artificial, it's free. And so there are certain keywords we don't want uh, we don't want on our Facebook comments or when we are running advertising. And this helps us when we are putting those keywords in here. They will not show up. They are not able to use these words when they want to leave a bad post. So that is for the reason to protect our site, but also to protect our advertising. So look into some keywords you want to uh, um, watch. So that you are not have to deal with uh, the people who leave sometimes stupid comments or bad comments and now you have to respond that takes off a little bit your um your uh, input within your facebook so and um in here let's see i want to show you as well I don't know, uh, let me see. No, not page rules. That was the wrong one. People and other pages. So you want to pay attention to people and other pages. You know you can look up everybody who likes your page and everybody who interacts with your page. But sometimes you have funny people, right? So. I get, especially on one video I did, I get funny comments. They are strange people. So did you know that you can block and also remove people from your Facebook business page? So the majority doesn't know it. They tell you you cannot remove people from your page, but yes, you can. So let's say I, I will not remove them. So I go once a month, I go in here and look all the people that like my page and look for people that don't have a profile page that liked my page. So that could be maybe spammy people or whatever they are. And now I take a look in here and uh, watch very, very careful. And then I go through, I just did it. So that's why probably nothing is coming up. And um, what I am doing then, let's go in here. Yeah, so young Molly, who is young Molly? So, okay, Joel and Fairshield, fun. Okay, young Molly, let's look open. In a new page, let's look young Molly, what he is up to, if he is a real profile or if he is a spammer, we will find out. Yeah, young Molly looks a little bit funny. Yeah, so you know what? I can show you. I don't like that young Molly. And so I don't know since 2013 for a long. And now I am able, I check mark young Molly. I am up here, go to my little wheel. And now I can remove him from page likes or I can ban him from my page. When I remove him from page likes, I'm removing him totally from my page so i will no longer be in my feed when i ban him from my page i am able to ban him but he still will see my page but is no longer able to comment or have any interaction with my page so what i do i remove him from my page likes meaning that if you remove your molly this person will no longer be shown as a person who likes this page yeah exactly so i remove him he will no longer see my page and probably uh, he he is no longer a fan he will not interact with me any longer 
So that is how I keep my site clean. That's how I am watching the spam. That is nothing funny going on on my page. I want to keep it as clean as possible because we know Facebook uh, watches everybody of us and how we interact. And that helps me as well with commenting. So nobody comments that we are spam or saily or whatever. So uh, think about some keywords and uh, also uh, keep your followers look who they are if they are real people so because you are going for engagement you want people to engage with you not spamming you or or annoying them annoying you uh, with their funny posts or with their funny comments on your page so those are all le legitimate so i like it so i removed money and uh, that is pretty much the back end of the news what are coming so um facebook is changing all the time and you want to stay on top of it you want to get used to it and um you know so um we don't know what they are doing we only know when it's due or when it is coming especially now you want to verify all your domain names as well if you have not done so yet you want to go into your business manager go into your business settings and uh, verify your domain names otherwise you um, you will not be able to use them in any of your advertising i don't know what it will do if you don't do it and you don't want advertising so uh, if it has any negative impact on your facebook pages we don't know yet so we will find out sometimes it is too late when we find out but that's how we are going around our pages so when you are running advertising absolutely you want to verify your domain names so let me stop sharing my screen and let's see if you have any question for me so let's see in here and you see facebook always went after engagement so they don't care about your likes and you as you see they took about or they take the likes away so they want people to follow and engage with you that is their main purpose so that's probably why they are taking away your page likes and only people who follow you now will see your uh, comments or your your uh, postings on your feed so let me go into the group and let me check out what is going on here here we are so if you have any question put them down below so you see yeah hansel absolutely yeah they are always changing so it is what it is they are sometimes changes we don't even go into it they are too small but uh, those are some of the bigger changes you want to be aware so keep your uh, 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 facebook page clean change if you want to to uh from uh, put your button up that people follow you i do it now for some times usually i have my messenger up there but i want people to follow me that means they are subscribing to me that means they will see more of my post everybody who who liked your page but unfollowed you at the same time and i am one of many so i show my support with like but many times I also unfollow because I see too many listings and too many properties out there. So that's why I unfollow. So when Facebook changes, now I, I will fall out completely out of your page. 
I will be no longer uh, connected with you. So all of you who are sending out the like my page, everybody who likes your page but unfollows you at the same time now will not see your content and is as they never would like your page. And uh, that is a different discussion why you would do it and why you should not do it. So uh, for me, um, especially many, I am not your audience. I talked about this early or many, many times. So why would a real tour send another real tour to like the page? What you are doing now that you are interacting on your business page with other real tours, Facebook thinks those real tours is your main audience. So those buyer and sellers most likely will not say the content you are putting out for your buyer and sellers because you are invited as a real tools and interacting with real tools on your page telling facebook algorithm hey this is my main audience so i talked about it earlier you shouldn't do it uh, just because you need the likes or uh, the likes count nothing. You want engagement. So when you are putting out for your buyer and seller content and you only have real tours on your Facebook business page, other real tours, now they are probably seeing your content and your content is not shown to the right people uh, you actually want to reach. So my recommendation, stay away from other real tools if real tools are not your target audiences. So I see it many, many times. The same thing is you are inviting to your YouTube channel other real tools to like your YouTube channel just because you need the subscribers. This signals to YouTube, hey, those real tools is the audience. They will put your content. And then you wonder why you don't have interaction because actually those real tools are not your audiences. So you want to be very specific. You want to know who you want to reach. You want to invite those people from your community, your buyers and seller. Those are the people you want to put your content in front of it. And if you do it right, Facebook will help you with it. But if you are putting out content for buyer and seller and you are educating other realtors about it, they will not engage. Yes, they may give you a like, but they will not start the interaction you are looking for on your Facebook pages. So there's always a con and pro. Yes, you will have a, a lot of page likes, but what are the page likes good if you don't have the engagement? Keep in mind, Facebook is a social media networking platform. You want to interact with the people you want to engage with people and then when you have the engagement now your people will see more and more yes we know engagement and many people so see your post that is probably because you're putting the wrong content or you invited the wrong people to like your page who are now all your realtors, you told Facebook or YouTube or whatever you use, hey, realtors are my audiences, and now your whole algorithm are all over the place. You will not reach the people you actually want to reach, but reaching your uh, competition or other realtors educating what you are doing. So that, that has nothing to do with scarcity mindset, it is nice that you do, but what is it good if you are not reaching the people? If you are a broker and want to reach other realtors in your area on your Facebook business page, now that is a different game. 
But if you are a realtor, you want to make sure that you have buyer and seller and your community on your page so that they interact and see all the goodies you are putting out there. So now you will tell me, oh yeah, EXP and those, they do it. Yes, why do they do it? Because they are always on the recruiting tip trip right they are not recruiting buyer and seller they are on the recruiting trip because now they try to recruit other agents so that they can build their funnel most likely many have a different page so if you want um uh, especially when you are a broker i would do a brokerage page and you should do a community page so that you can separate who you want to reach on each page yes i understand it's a little bit more work but it is what it is you could use one page as well but then your focus as a program most likely is a uh, real tool so absolutely that is fine when you have mostly real tools on your page but also you want to put out community or use your agents pages to put stuff out there for the community so that you are reaching the right buyer and seller you want to reach that one to get to know you so let me see if we have more questions so you see we can go in there and in there and in there so when you want to schedule your post you go into either way into publishing tools which now will be turned over into creator studios so you still can do it on both sides that's where you are scheduling your post. And it's much, much easier, easier for you when you are posting in your publishing tools or your creator studios. You have a good, good overview and you can post at, uh, within the, uh, the creator studio to Facebook and to Instagram. So when you post to Instagram, you also can share it with Facebook. So it is much, much easier. I also would pay attention to the insights. So insights tells you a lot about your pages. And then you also have the analytics when you have a business manager. Now you can go in there and take a look when your community is active. So for me, it's most of the time Tuesdays, nine o'clock a.m. in the morning. That means I need to put more content out 9 a.m. in the morning. So that is all what Facebook is giving us. So use the tools. Within Insights, you also are able to follow other pages that interest you. And now you can easily uh, go into in their feed. So when you need inspiration, now uh, check out those pages. Sometimes they have a good post. You can not copy and paste, but put your own spin on some and some posts what maybe you find inspiring. So when you always look for ideas what to post, that is a good way to start. You, uh, I think you have to, I have 500 followers, so I am able to uh, mark 10 pages that interest me and they are coming up on my page. I can see their engagement. I can see uh, how many posts they posted. I can see the likes and the comments. So I have a good overview how their posts are doing. And now I can put on my own spin. So let's see if there are any questions. If not, that is fine with me too. Yeah, it is. So Ooh, now I'm, you see, I shouldn't do that. So I know you are a few minutes behind me. So make sure uh, if you have any question, I am happy to answer them. If not, then we will see each other next week, Thursday. This is the week before Easter. So, all right. So, but you know, so Facebook is changing all the time. That's why I'm here. I'm giving you a little bit the insights. And uh, again, uh, pay attention to when you want to 
share now a post from your business page. You can now switch from your page to your personal page. You most likely have to go up in the bar if your page has already changed. So mine's changed early on. Before we had the little dot right next to share. This has gone on my page. Maybe it's still on yours. That is the time where you are able to share your posts. And when you share it from your personal page, now you are even have more options of sharing, sharing it to groups, sharing it to pages, to messenger. So you have different options available. So, all right, so let me see. So, and if you heard what Facebook said in the beginning, they are now going more into engagement, more into communities. So you want to make sure that you are out there and engage with your audience. Yes, it can be a little bit uh, tricky, especially when you have the wrong audience, then you need to stop. And I even had to stop a new page because we want to reach a different audience. And now I have to do that all over again. So, and I will do so, but I cannot share it because it is in a different language. So <laughs> it is in German. So we want to reach our German immobilian marklers or uh, realtors, which are real estate agents in German are immobilian marklers. So, but um, therefore, even I could use my own page, but I want Facebook to differentiate the German market and the US and Canada market. So I cannot split it up. I would totally uh, mess up the algorithm. So that's why we are moving, turning on a new page. And maybe I should even have taken you along so even if you don't understand the German, what I'm writing, but you understand the principles, what I am doing. All right, guys. So if there are no questions, so that's where I would focus on, uh, get a little bit more familiar. You see Facebook makes it very, very easy for us using videos, putting videos into series and into episodes, having our little own TV show right here on Facebook. So that makes it very, very easy for people to watch certain things you are doing. And now you are able to put it into series and they can watch series one, two, three, four, five, how many you are doing. All right, guys, there are no questions in here today. So let me know, even if you are watching this in the replay, put down hashtag replay, tag me in it so that I see your question. Otherwise, I will see you next week for our lunch and learn. Let me know if you have any question or if you need to know something. So we always can do a lunch and learn about it. Until then, if there are no questions, I will tune off. We are going moving forward as well. And then I see you next week, Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. We are not only talking about Facebook, Facebook advertising, Facebook business. We always give you a little bit insight what is going on, what you could do. And maybe we also will introduce some tools we are using. So making it easier for you, for your creatives on Facebook and interacting with your audience. But for today, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, put them down below. Otherwise, I will see you next Thursday, 12 Eastern Standard Time. Until then, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.